SAP Developer News is back with another information-packed edition curated just for you by our SAP Developer Advocates. Time flies, and we are at the end of week 5 of the Oktoberfest. During this week, we looked at some general topics that impact all types of developers. How to protect your applications from hackers, how to reduce the likelihood of successful attacks on your software supply chain, how to deal with the cloud native security implications, and how to manage the image and runtime vulnerabilities versus the application security issues in containers. You can find all recordings of these sessions on our SAP Developers channel. In his last blog post, Thomas Young wrote, all work and no play makes for a dull life. That's why this Friday we are having some fun and community building by engaging with you in online gaming. If you watch this video on October 29th, then it is not too late for you to join us. Check how in the description of this video. And then next week will be the first week of November and it is going to be the Data and Analytics Week of the Oktoberfest. But it is not only for developers working on data-intensive applications. No, all ABAP, UI, cloud-native, mobile developers, admins, and architects are welcome to join too. You will have chances to discover how machine learning models for enterprises are developed, how data visualization influences your information consumption, or how modern data architectures evolve. The later will be presented by no one else but Alan Simon, the author of best-selling data warehousing and data lake books and the instructor at courses on Udemy. What's more, you will have chances to meet book authors and to discuss real-life data science challenges with our experts. Obviously, there is no Devtoberfest week without topic-related tutorials for you to learn from and a coding challenge for you to solve. Closing next week will be two fun Friday sessions about teaching kids to code. One of the presenters will be our SAP colleague Jens Mönig, who has been awarded the NTLS Leadership Award, which recognizes individuals who have made significant impact in the field of educational technology over the course of a lifetime. Net-net, it is going to be another not to be missed Oktoberfest week. No matter your time zone, there will be sessions available for you to join live and engage. So, see you there. This week, there's a lot of news for CAP, the cloud application programming model. First, consuming OData v2 and v4 services from CAP is now generally available. There's also a revamped consuming services cookbook, which shows you how to import external service definitions, mock call and mashup with remote services and lots more. Talking of service consumption, we've got a new mission in the tutorial navigator for you. Consume remote services from SAP S4 HANA Cloud using CAP. And finally, check out this blog post from Mariana Nabaka. Tips and tricks for working with annotations in CAP projects using the language server protocol LSP capabilities. If you're interested in annotations in CAP in general, or specifically how the LSP is used in CAP tooling, then you definitely want to check out this blog post. We are slowly approaching SAP TechEd 2021. This is SAP's premier virtual event for developers, IT practitioners, and professionals. This three-day virtual event will begin November 16th to the 18th. Don't forget to register now to get a chance to connect with others and discuss exciting topics. For more information and overview of the use cases that are focused for SAP TechEd in 2021, read Roy's blog post where he discussed how use cases and the various components of the SAP business technology platform can be used along with other SAP and non-SAP products to help you achieve your targeted business outcomes. Also, check out SAP TechEd tag on blogs.sap to read more detailed posts on the event. All of these links will be included in the description below. What's up, folks? Rich Hallman here, Developer Advocate, SAP Devs. The ABAP Platform 2021 has been released, and we are starting to see some blog posts coming in from various colleagues introducing us to the new features. 
Last week, Killian Kilger posted a new blog post about the new ABOP expression capabilities for generic and dynamic programming in the ABOP platform in 2021. In his blog post, he explains how ABOP developers can write cleaner code when using generic data references directly inside of expressions and use the new dynamic reference expressions to access components of generic data or object references. Also, be sure to check out the ABOP Platform 2021 What's New page where all of the new features are listed.